My name is Fernanda and I'm from Brazil. And I started having like pictures in my life from an early age. I started like scanning the pictures because I was going to travel and I want to be able to travel and at any quick moment, just to look at my phone and look at the pictures that I had left behind. I wanted to find a way to have those memories with me, especially because my grandparents were in Brazil and I was living in California at the time. And I literally just Googled Bass app to scan your photos. And then I found photo mine. And I was like, this is amazing. Like everyone should have this. And I caught myself like scanning my pictures. That was like my first contact with photo mine and I loved it. So I was traveling to Brazil on a work trip and I told my aunt, hey, I found this app that it scans pictures. Let's scan pictures together. My dad passed away when I was nine, so like 23 years ago. And we were able to look at pictures of my dad and not with like a sad feeling, but it was just so comforting and very therapeutic scanning them and being able to have those pictures on my phone right now. It's the world to me. Pictures in general is a huge part of our family, especially with everything that our family went through, like losing loved ones. You know that pictures is like all we have. I started scanning the pictures because I lost my brother three years ago, and that was the way that I wanted to have my brother with me at all times. So that's how it started. It's just like so much that you can carry photo albums with you, right? But you can you always carry your phone, and if I want to see something, I can just go back and like click of a button and then see all these memories. Scanning the pictures with my family was really special, especially with my grandpa, because like he was the diagnosed with Parkinson's looking at those pictures, it triggers something in his memory that he would just like remember and then he would just start like talking. It's like, oh yeah, I was here with my friend and my aunt and I would both look at him and I was like, what's going on? My grandpa, he was born in Brazil and like a teenager, he joined the Navy and he was following like a career. And in the Navy, he was just so great. He did such a great job that he was able to get this trip for six months to travel the world. And that's how my grandpa from like a simple town in Brazil was able to see the world. We grew up with that, with grandpa talking to us about a world that is outside. Like people call it wanderlust, but I grew up with just my grandpa saying, the world is big, really big and you can go anywhere if you want. At one point, I was visiting the same places that my grandpa visited before. I went to Italy, and I was like looking to find the same position that my grandpa was at the Coliseum. And then I did the same pose at the same place. And I went to Paris, and my grandpa has a picture uh, in front of the Eiffel Tower. And I was like trying to find this the same spot. Or I went to Disney World, and I literally had all his pictures and I tried to copy the pictures. That was really special. Losing my dad at an early age, you go towards him as a father figure and everything that he represented to us and sending a quick link to my aunt and say, hey, look at the pictures that we took from grandpa. And I even, uh, I have an iPad that I gave to my grandma. So I sent it all the links. So if she wants, she can just look at pictures on the iPad. So that's really special. I cherish a lot. I tell about this app to every single friend. It's like every friend that said that they are bored during quarantine, I was like, download this app and just start looking at your old pictures. It's not only about scanning, it's about going back down memory lane, I would say, and sharing with people too. Because when you share, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a good feeling.